Hello everyone and welcome back to the King Not Queen podcast. My name is Nina and I am your host. So yeah, welcome back. Happy Thursday. I'm um, if you listen to it on Thursday, happy Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, if you're listening to it any other day. But yeah, so what's up guys? Hope your week was well. Mine went pretty good. I've been putting off doing the podcast today um i got distracted and filmed a tiktok unnecessary but um yeah i i filmed a tiktok and then i got distracted and i was like you know what? i'll do it at 11 all right i'll do it at 11 30 and now it's almost 12 so that's the predicament i'm in but yeah, so I just wanted to give you guys some updates on what's been going on in my life before we go into the juice, the funny, I'm just gonna, the juice and the meat of this podcast, which is the Umbrella Academy season two. Uh, but um, yeah, hold on, there's something on my lip that was not okay. But yeah, some updates. So I finally downloaded some editing software on my computer. Not saying which one it is because they don't want to sponsor me, but I finally downloaded some editing software and I, sorry, there is, there, disclaimer, there's going to be some noise in the background. I personally hear like a lot of like going on in my headphones, so I'm sorry if you are dealing with that. Um, this is the most comfortable spot for me to, to, for today, but, um, anyways, so I finally downloaded some editing software and I'm learning how to edit on my computer right now it's going pretty well because I'm just cutting I'm not putting anything in yet so can't wait for that right all right so um I'm mainly I'm very excited about editing my computer because that means less space used up on my phone for all of that nonsense right um but yeah also I've been going to the beach and I've really been enjoying it just going by myself and I printed out the Billie Eilish coloring book last week and um and I have like markers and stuff so I just go to the beach and you know color like a five-year-old but it's been pretty fun and like um but what I'm very angry about and my city's people need to figure this out because for the past two weeks there's been benches at the beach like as in picnic benches with tables and stuff where you could sit down there was like three at the park and i might play must go there yesterday and just chill for like two or three hours and there was no benches so i was very 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 confused so then i had to walk all the way it was like a it's like a mile i had to walk all the way to the bathhouse to find a bench to sit at or like a, a table to sit at so i could color and I didn't want to be all the way down there because it's way more hot over there than it was in the spot where I was <clears throat> in the last time. Because the spot where I was in last time had shade. And this spot was underneath the sun. So tell me, Carl, how does that work? Um, but yeah. Also, I got free Popeye. So those of you who have T-Mobile Tuesdays, y'all need to hop on that because some days... Some Tuesdays, they be giving out good stuff. Some Tuesdays, I'm going to just say, are pretty whack. Um, the stuff that they give out, pretty whack. But this past went, uh, Tuesday has been so good. So they gave a $2 Dunkin' Donuts gift card. You can put towards anything. And they also gave free Popeyes. Free Popeyes and not even like a trick like everything else where like you have to have a minimum purchase. It was legit free Popeyes. All I had to do was add it to my car. It was zero dollars and zero cents. You don't even know how how happy I was. And I finally had the infamous chicken sandwich. And let me just say, I don't know if I'm gonna get some hate for this. I'm really not, but whatever. Um, But the chicken sandwich was actually pretty good like it had some weird sauce on it and i don't know what it was because i don't the only sauce i know is ranch and honey mustard and barbecue sauce and that's really it really truck those are the only three sauces that i know so anything else i'm gonna be totally like i'll taste and be like i don't know what this is 
but it had some weird sauce on it. But I put ranch on top of that sauce. And let me just say, it was a thick boy sandwich. It was so good. It was so good. It might have just been because I was hungry, but oh my god. So it gave a free Popeye chicken sandwich and two piece chicken. What? And I should have got spicy, but I, I got the spicy chicken sandwich, but I didn't get the spicy chicken, but I should have got spicy chicken because it would have gave me some kick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so that was good. Also, I got new headphones. Um, I don't know if you can tell. You probably can't, but I, I feel very more confident talking because I can actually hear myself. And I got them from TJ Maxx. They're Kodak, like Kodak like the camera brand it's that and like they're nice little wired headphones and they have good like it seems like they have pretty good bass like oh my god they're so good and i can finally hear myself and i finally have two headphones like my other headphones only had one and they were pretty cheap i'm so happy about these right now like legit i'm so happy and they're like so crystal clear um but yeah anyways so getting into the meat and potatoes of this podcast we're going to go back to a very old segment we haven't done in a while called Bad TV Show Review. And we all know what it is. I gave a sneak peek last week. The Umbrella Academy. And you know what? I When it came out last year, I liked it. Um, it, it always was a bit weird t- to me because the plot was always has always just been all over the place and so many things you have to follow along and so many but this is a race because of time travel so much time travel stuff that like i i'm not a scientist so i don't understand time travel or how any of that works so i'm just like that's actually pretty satisfying anyways is it's very hard to follow along sometimes but i in the acting was never really that good besides like dare i say aiden gallagher but um I don't know it, it's always been just, just been kind of a weird show but i just stuck on it like to be honest last season was so long to get through and this season didn't really feel that bad maybe because no it was the same amount of episodes i really don't know what it was this season i made it go by faster um but yeah so i have like i have a list i have notes of what i wanted to talk about um about the show so first i wanted to rank the characters this season every character had a good moment and every character had like a what the actual heck moment so like but if we take everything into consideration here is my official ranking of the umbrella academy members all seven right so coming in dead last is luther luther he has his own little like note section in my notes because it's something about this man where as the season progressed he like his mind aged backwards and i honestly don't know what it was he started acting super weird like kind of like not dumb but like kind of like what are you doing like he started acting so weird and he's always just been kind of like a character who's been like aloof <laughs> i don't know how else to say it he's always been a character that's just like huh but we need to do this but like doesn't really comprehend what's going on and that just like kind of bothers me because he's supposed to be number one supposed to be the leader and like dog you're really out here being aloof like no that's not that's not it that's not the that's not the wave come on dog so yeah he's dead last um so number six i would say ranked number six is diego the only reason i'm putting him so low this season is because of his hair i don't know why they did that but they made his hair like super long and he it it just made him look so bad like he looked so much better if you know what I mean, with, with very short hair, like, I don't understand why they transitioned him to this man with, like, long, I just don't get it, I really don't, like, it's just, I don't know, something about it irked me all season, it, it, it's like, I don't know, and the only reason why he's not dead last is because, A, Luther and his aloofness, and because, um, it got revealed this season that he doesn't just control, little knives he controls any projectile coming towards him and i oh um 
heads up <laughs> heads up um th- this contains spoilers um i'm not i i feel like that's not a spoiler it kind of is but i don't feel like it's a spoiler um cuz i didn't reveal the ending but um we'll just say so he can control and this is known like he controls stuff coming towards him or like stuff that he throws so he can control projectiles flying at him i'm not gonna say what he controls i'm just saying that he can do that but there are going to be some spoilers in this so if you are um not finished or you haven't watched it or you want to watch it please fast forward through all of this or just block your ears for the next like 10 minutes maybe but yeah so he's number six number five I'm gonna say, I really, it's kind of difficult. Number five, I'm gonna say Vanya. Something about her powers and like, so this season she had memory loss and I, something about it just seemed like too coincidental that she had memory loss. Like I don't like that. And her powers very like not explained like i saw this thing that said she can control sound like but that doesn't even make any sense i don't know what her powers are all i know is that she can she maybe has telekinesis like i really have no clue what her powers are and it's just like kind of aggravating because they don't explain how she uses her powers so well this season she just knows how to work them all of a sudden like i don't know it just kind of bothers me a little bit but yeah and then also her acting is really good ellen page we love you blah 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 but like i don't know like something about her just kind of bothered me but she's very much above diego and Luther, let's just say that okay so number four is allison we all know why um it was her wig this season for me it's the wig for me it's the wig for me but she did so well because okay so this season was set in the 60s and you know the 60s civil rights um segregation jim crow laws very like mm. and she was a black woman traveling from 2019 where stuff is so much different and like she and she had to adapt to that and knowing what she knows happens in the future like she worked with that and ran with it like i just find i just really kind of like that plot line however that plot line was a little much they obviously didn't know that any of this what's going on in our country right now was going to happen so if that was a little bit uncomfortable watching in that show knowing that that is happening right now and it wasn't like they were trying to make fun of it it's just like the timing was a little weird and was kind of like ooh, hits a little bit too close to home for me it's hitting too close to home for me but um yeah something about that was just like kind of rubbing me the wrong way um but let's just leave it there but her powers are always so awesome i love her she's such a good fighter and she puts two and two together so well and um even though she makes some dumb decisions and she wants to date her brother but let's move on so number three i'm gonna put um mm, this is hard number three i'm gonna put ben okay the only reason i'm putting him below the other two is because he is dead and that is a known fact he's dead so i I feel like that's kind of rude to put him low because he's dead. But, um, it, he was just, like, there. And not everybody saw him. Um, his powers are pretty cool. He's pretty powerful. And I'm very excited for next season. That's all I'm gonna say. And, um, he... What he... The whole... Th- towards the end, where he just... Let's just say helped Vanya little bit weird to me but like his overall story of how he stayed to help keep the family together i find that kind of like sad i almost want to cry right now but like i don't know i just really like that message a little bit um but yeah we'll put him three number two i'm gonna say it's close he sometimes the decisions he makes are weird he is a very eccentric character um and he definitely has 
he definitely has a lot of um issues as a character because he's kind of been through so much and has those powers where he has to hear these things all the time but um the only reason why i kind of put him below the number one spot is because he told dave from last season his uh wartime lover he told dave about the future and i personally didn't like that because you're changing how things could have happened and you and though you wanted your love to stay alive you kind of ruined it for yourself so that's the that's where i'm at with 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 that that's where i'm at but um he's uh, he's obviously a very great character and um all his scenes were so good and Robert Sheehan with his Irish accent um really hits close and then number one spot goes to Mr. Love by Love 4th of July eight in Galaga and let's just say five the character five and eight in Galaga are not the same person it's the same thing with Noah Centimeo and Peter Kravinsky Krasinski it's like they're not the same person and I don't know why but like something about five hits way more different than Aiden Gallagher and I don't know if it's because like he must be a dang good actor to make me like him as a character and not as a person and that is where I leave things but his powers awesome what he figures out how he is indirectly the actual leader because he has is the only person with sense in his head and i don't know did i say his decision making i don't know i like it i like how he's knowledgeable and excuse me and how they kept him as a kid because it would have obviously that's how the comics are but like it would not have been the same if he was an adult and i really like how he's like the only kid on the show and he's like but he acts like an adult i just really like that but yeah so season one versus season two i have to say season two is a little bit more superior because i don't know like there was a lot of twists and turns let me just say many twists and turns this season compared to last season um but i like it it was more colorful this season a little bit more fun um a little bit more like cool fight scenes and like keeping track i don't know i just like this season better um and it went more fast for me for me um but yeah so my final consensus on the show out of 10 is going to be a solid seven it even though it is still a very bad show um this season was very good and it's hyping me up for next season like how it ended very much hyped for next season it's just some of the things that happen really just bother me but yeah so if you're skipping ahead and you didn't want to hear any spoilers we're done now talking about the umbrella academy um please go watch on netflix so then you can go back and listen to that whole segment but now we're moving on to good movie review because that's what's next on the notes so that was my page turning by the way okay anyways so good movie review work it it just came out on netflix last friday and honestly okay it was actually really good like i actually enjoyed it even though some of the things bother me like i hate when a movie is driven by college admissions i'm gonna say it but it it was really good i am so proud of liza koshi um i've been such a big fan for so long and like the fact that she is now on a netflix movie get out of town how is she in a netflix movie she's really moving on up like to mainstream media and though it's kind of annoying because i really really do miss her content on her channel like she doesn't post anymore i and i understand because she's like busy and stuff but i really do miss her old content but this is honestly so amazing for her and i know this has like been her dream like it has to have been her dream to be in a netflix original movie like come on girl she really out here but yeah so and her dancing phenomenal and like it's so awesome that she got recognized for her dancing because i always thought she was kind of like a wow 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 dancer like i don't know i don't know i kind of like 
I like it. Um, the only thing I was a little bit confused about, there was two confusions. So it was Jordan Fisher in the movie and Sabrina Carpenter, like some of the main characters, like the main love interest. Are we confused? Because they are supposed to be seniors in high school, I'm pretty sure, because they're doing the college application process and going in for interviews and all that. So I'm assuming that they're seniors in high school and it's looking like it's the beginning of the year because of applying to colleges and stuff which means that majority of seniors at that time are not 18 i don't know i just have a few questions but like i don't get it so and then jordan fisher there no one said that he's a high school student he is paying rent i know like obviously there's some kids who have their own apartments or have to pay rent. But, like, he has a full-time job. He has an apartment by himself. He has tattoos everywhere. And it, there's no mention of him going to school, um, living at home with his parents, um, or even, like, going, like, no edu- Like, he's not in the school system. So I'm very confused. And it also said, like, he, I'm pretty sure said he graduated, he's a choreographer, he is an a, adult, he is old, he's like, tw- I, I'm gonna assume he's like in his 20s, and Sabrina Carpenter is like, a high school student cannot, she physically cannot be 18, like, I refuse to believe that she's 18, the, the only reason they would make her 18 is for making their relationship legal, but I'm a just, let's just say she's 18, I personally think she's 17 in the movie, but let's just say that she's 18, what and they literally kissed multiple times have talk about having a relationship but i'm very much confused about the age like and it was never addressed it was never addressed same thing with liza she liked this guy that worked at a mattress store during school hours he was not a high school student i am a hundred percent positive he was not a high school student but she was like date like dating him by the I don't know I was just so confused with like the rela- I don't know it's something something weird about it but also something I was confused about was the last dance like like something like you know when like step up or like they have like they do the last dance it's so like well choreographed so like the camera's good in this movie like it was like everyone was like free I don't know, everyone was like freestyling like it wasn't good and they ended up winning how with what dance everyone else's dance was way but i don't understand how they won that their their qualifying performance was better than their last dance and 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 i said what i said and i said it so you're gonna have to deal with it um but the outfits oh my goodness the outfits are so good sabrina carpenter's last outfit for the last dance mwah perfect i love it so much the pants the shirt the outfits of the whole movie were so realistic lizes were so good i loved whoever did the uh war was on the wardrobe costume team i loved it so much it was literally like they just pulled up to set wearing what they would normally wear literally that's how it felt because i feel like Sabrina carpenter actually dresses like that i feel like Liza actually dresses like that and they just pulled up to set with what they would normally wear like i just really like that um, but my final consensus, I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. The only reason why I dock it that one point is because of the weird relationship age differences that are illegal and not okay. But, um, that's where, that's where I leave that movie. But go watch Work It on Netflix, cause, um, go support Liza. Give her some, give her some money, you know? Give her, give her some money. But yeah, um, so as we wrap up the podcast... I wanted to dive back into my political corner. Um, that's my leg. Um, I want to dive back into my political corner. I really liked it last week talking about AOC because I love her so much and I'm still watching compilation videos of her. But it was just announced yesterday. So I was just sitting here making a bracelet for my Etsy shop. And we, me and my mom watching Judge Judy. Everyone needs to watch Judge Judy. She comes out at 4. She's on from 4 to 5. J- Judge Judith Shanelin. We love Judge. And um, we are always welcome to the courtroom at 4.30. And so we're just in there. And it was a pretty darn good episode. And all of a sudden, a CBS special report cut, 
cuts in. And I honestly, I don't know, something about those, like, make me feel so special. Like, I'm witnessing history. Like, the last time that happened was when the rocket ship thing got delayed. Or the spaceship, or the space, yeah, the SpaceX thing got delayed. That was the last time that happened. But I feel like that's when, like, historic stuff goes down. And I, I don't know, I really like that. So, it was announced yesterday that Joe Biden, the Democratic presidential candidate is is his vice president is going to be Kamala 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 Harris which I don't know makes me feel so special like I almost wanted to cry watching it it made me feel so special because first of all she's African like she's part African American like she's a per- just in general she's a person of color She's a woman, which makes me feel like I can do that and succeed. I don't know. I really, like, this, if she, I don't want to get snubbed again. You know how much faith I had that Hillary Clinton was going to win the presidency and how, like, upset, going to school the next day after she lost, how, how sad, what is that? How sad everybody was. All my teachers like devastated everybody was so sad and i literally like was so upset that she lost and it's gonna be such a big upset if joe biden is an elected president and she's not the vice president it's gonna be so sad but she i i don't understand why no one would vote for her i don't know what the other side's argument is it's probably like stupid but like literally she has so much experience and what she she ran for president like she she has that sway that power that drive to want to do change and I don't know I don't know I just I'm so excited about this election and I wish I was turning 18 in November so I could vote but I just can't but um I have to wait a whole nother four years lord lord but maybe ALC will I don't know what that sound is in the background I'm sorry it's kind of annoying but anyways I hope that ALC runs for president when I am 18 so I can vote for her but um A theory that I heard, though, is that because Joe Biden is so old, they said he's turning 78, and Trump was the oldest president at 70, I'm pretty sure. So, this man is about to be 78, and if he wins, he's going to be the oldest president, and this man ain't, he ain't lasting eight years. I I mean, like, I hate to say it, but, like, he's already shown, I feel like he's already shown signs, like, I've heard that he's shown signs already of like kind of not deteriorating but like getting older and that's kind of inevitable eight years he's gonna be 86 like that's like and that's a massive amount of stress to be president of the united states so much risk to be assassinated so much stuff excuse me so so i (laughs) i heard this theory um on tiktok that he is going to choose a vice president that is no they said this is how we're going to get a woman in office J- joe biden is going to have a female running mate as his vice president and then he's going to resign from his presidency because of health concerns and um because he's getting too old um within like the next couple of years maybe we're like right when he gets elected or like a few months after he gets elected and then the vice president is going to step up and become president and that's how we get a female president because there is not enough and i also believe this sway power sway power sway power there's not enough power in this country to get a female elected yet y-e-t yet probably in the next couple of years but there's not enough power to get a woman president yet just straight off the bat but there is enough to get a vp and bump her up to president i feel like that will happen and if i'm correct i can't wait to listen back to this podcast and hear myself predict the future but i don't remember who posted the tiktok but yeah also for my political corner i saw this hilarious video you need to watch it about 
a CNN, I don't know if it was CNN or Fox News person, maybe it was Fox News, arguing with Elmo, oh my god, had a whole Twitter beef with Elmo, like, how, how, that is a, it was literally a cartoon, the video of Elmo was literally a cartoon character, you're arguing with the cartoon character that's just trying to put out a good message, he was mad because Elmo was doing this special about black lives matter and this specific fox news correspondent believes that the black black live matter movement is a hoax and all the all racism is a hoax and systemic racism mm, what sir because that doesn't even make any sense how is it a hoax it's been proved multiple times but he that's basically what he was saying and he was arguing with elmo for putting out this like false news you need to watch it it is so funny and i wish they kind of clickbaited me because i thought it was going to be them arguing on air but it was kind of like him having it being uh, having a twitter beef with with elmo but if sesame street never said anything like i don't know like that's where a lot of kids get their information that's like the first thing that kids watch and to know that kids are being exposed to that is puts me in like a good spot for our future and he's mad that kids are being exposed to that you're mad that kids are being exposed to this system that is built against black people and people of color especially if you're a a kid of color a koc especially if you're a kid of color and you're watching that and learning that you're gonna grow up and it's not gonna be fair like i would want to know that at an early age so i could work to change it sir but before i get angry because i'm already sweating let's end this podcast so it was very fun talking about everything today i really like i really like doing the reviews of tv shows i find that very fun i know that it wasn't a lot of like stuff about me this podcast but i i like talking about that i'm going to have a bad or good movie review next week because i'm planning on watching a movie today i'm not gonna say what movie that is you'll just have to wait for next week and um yeah so go follow my instagram it's at king.notqueen go follow my youtube channel nina king there should be a video up within the next two weeks okay i'm putting that into the air so i actually do it because there's a lot of work i have to do on learning how to edit um go email me any um suggestions of what i should talk about any of your own confessions or stories um any uh, movies you want me to watch any tv shows you want me to watch any artists you want me to listen to go email me at king not queen pod at gmail.com again king not queen pod at gmail.com that's where you can find me and email me um and literally i look at my email every day so if you email me i'll see it and thank you for getting me to a hundred plus plays i just found out last night i have like a hundred six plays and i'm that's like for me very exciting i don't know why just like the number 100 just seems like a lot but thank you so much for supporting the podcast i am very happy about it. this is my favorite thing to do every week even though i put it off for so long um and what else i have to say uh wear your seat belts um stay healthy stay safe from the coronavirus and if you're going back to school wear a mask please wear a mask karen please wear a mask also leave a review on the apple itunes um apple not apple itunes apple podcast app leave like a five star five star review and leave a written review i saw someone leave a review on there um i don't know obviously i don't know who it was um because their name is not on it but thank you so much for leaving that review um i'm glad that you listen but um yeah feel free to leave a review on there about anything i really like i want to read reviews one day and like because i seen like on the tmg podcast that someone left reviews about it being like about vacuums and like so like tricking people i don't know i just find it kind of funny but yeah be sure to leave a review on review on there be sure to tune in next week for a new episode on thursday morning and yeah thank you so much for listening yeah yeah oh yeah just stalling so i can open my phone and end this podcast bye